Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading, we're doing our longer reading from December 16th through the 31st for my Aries. Hello, my Aries, how are you? Well, when I'm doing the longer readings, I use four decks. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards, gives me the main message. Then I go to the John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards to kind of fill in some of those gaps. Then I go to my Osha Zen Tarot cards for any words of advice, and I finish up pulling one card from my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. A couple of things to just kind of remind you is... 12-2, Jupiter is in Capricorn. It's going to be a really good um, year in Capricorn. So if you want to figure out what it should be like for you, think back 12 years, okay? So if that was a good year, this will be a good year for you too. Then again, 12-12, the full moon in Gemini. 12-21 to 22, the winter solstice and Capricorn season begins. And 1225 to 26, the new moon is in Capricorn and there is a solar eclipse. Now remember, back six months ago, I told you that with the solar eclipse, that the solar eclipse was going to open up a lot of things. Things were going to be revealed. And I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. There were a lot of things brought up in the media and revealed in the last six months. So... This kind of closes that door a little bit, but I do feel 2020 is going to be very, very positive, okay? So now, I am an intuitive channeler. Oh, and I'm going to post. I will, I will be posting, as they come up, the articles to, you know, to give you a little more information. And I'll do that on my community page, my Facebook. Um, if I'm able to, I also post on Instagram and Pinterest. And the reason I say if I'm able to, because some of the things that I have... I can only put on maybe my Facebook and community page. Some things I can only put on Facebook. So, but I will I will get as much information out to you. So, if you don't have any of those out, those other social medias, then go on to my community page. Okay, okay. So for my Aries, we're talking about the end of the month. We're getting ready for the 2020, and this is this is really it, it, it i feel that this is going to be real i feel 2020 again is going to be really strong strong energy but it's going to be i feel positive energy so let's see what we have here one two and three three cards face down nothing is reversed remember reversed cards you know, they, um, you know, they kind of call out and say a little more attention. And I, if I didn't say this, remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. So my higher power spirit guide sends me messages and it pops right out of my mouth. No filter. And you know why. If I filtered it, I'd be like, we're not saying that. We're not saying that. So let's go on. Here we go. First card for my Aries is the world. Archangel Michael. Michael, of course, the warrior, the protector, the you know, the leader of the hierarchy of angels is out there for you. The world says, you know, he's opening up the world and saying, here you go, my Aries. So as you're entering into the end of 2019, and I feel that this will go into 2020, I feel very strongly about that for you, my Aries. This is, again, this is the world. This is a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So many of you may be, you know, may, many of you, may be reconsidering your next steps, okay? And it could be reconsidering in any of those relationships that I'm thinking of. It could be your job, career, or work. So if you're in school right now, you may be rethinking about your major. If you're in a job right now, you may be thinking, rethinking of a possibly a new career. But also, too, if you're in a relationship, you may be rethinking of how that relationship is supposed to look, to look, okay? I'm not saying that that's going to be bad or good. I'm just saying I feel like there's re that you're going to be rethinking a lot of things because I don't know if this is just a time that you kind of say, wow, 2020, I'm going to be another year older. What, you know, where am I at? What do I want in life? Or do I want what I already have? 
again, I really feel that this is this is going to be as this you know end of this month comes about that you're going to be doing a lot of reconsidering reconsideration reconsidering okay and rethinking about certain about certain relationships okay so I told you about what we said there next card up is the eight of air this kind of goes along with what I just talked about air energy Aquarius Gemini and Libra this is um, you know your thoughts those information that you receive things that you're thinking about Wi-Fi Bluetooth those you know again those random thoughts that come in and this is again I really feel that this is that you are also the word restructuring is coming to my is coming to mind also it doesn't mean that you're going to necessarily act on everything it just means that you're thinking about it you're planning you're you're you know you might be talking about it more so because open communication if this is with an intimate partner or with a job open communication um, well I'm not gonna say it can't hurt um, because sometimes people don't want to be open back um, but open communication may clear up some spaces okay so aid of air is an illusion of being trapped a lack of self-confidence afraid to take action your next one your last one here is the ten of water now this is a wonderful card to have this is a wonderful card because it's like you know ten is transitioning transitioning into something newer exciting it's about ready you know something you know you're getting you're, you're 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 letting go of that old year you're going into again it's like going into 2020 maybe you're doing your um you know your resolutions for that new year type of thing but water is also emotional so when you're doing again you know the only you know like i said so this is a job well done this is you know joy contentment gratitude path towards enlightenment wonderful wonderful this is a great card too this is a, con a contented and rewarding family life your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships the only thing is you know what's your mind thinking about all of this okay like i said recon you know it, it's not that you know and maybe you even feel kind of bad you're like wow i have so much more than others do but my Aries you tend you do tend to and I'm not this isn't really negative because this becomes this is why you can be a very very um, strong achiever because it's kind of like you just want more and that's not always bad okay I mean that's where you know where new ideas come from so you know but at the most part the the end of the year the end of December is really positive for you um, I do feel that there's kind of this uh, emotion I kind of feel like it's that second relationship that interpersonal or intimate relationship that you just and maybe this could also be maybe you want to um, become engaged maybe you want to take that next step okay okay so let's go on to my John Holland psychic tarot and oracle cards let's see can you clarify this for me a little, uh, a little bit okay that one definitely was coming out and it did come out face up okay that's okay let's go ahead and cut for the other two i'm i'm really being drawn to that one card that popped i'll show it to you in a second pulling out the other two cards here we are and this is interesting with that 10 we have that 8 we have that 10 and now we have that 9 and 9 is about things ending okay but what this is again this reconsideration this rethinking this is solitude and you know this is also if you notice how she's holding the book she's holding the book open but it's not being open for her to read she's sharing her information she's still looking down you know and she is by herself per se you know and I always feel like this is a chess piece you know would this be the queen then this is the chess piece and it's kind of like you know there's some strategy again I really feel like this is refocusing rethinking you may even though everything looks really well on the outside and you feel in a way you know I should be so grateful and yes be grateful for what you do have you still need to take a, you do need to take some time and you know step back a little bit and again that rethinking that refocusing restructuring okay so but the, but the nice thing about this 
is that it's your decision. It's your control. It's not that you are reacting from somebody, you know, because of the situation. This is you just thinking about it. Okay, next card is, okay, this is reverse strong. This is base chakra. So with this, this is generally, you know, okay, number one, okay, this is the beginning. And many times this is, these are energy points within our body. Um, they, you know, the base chakra talk is about your, your security, is about your home, is about how, many times over, it's about how you actually grew up. Where did you grow up in a, feel, uh, in a, um, you know, in a family where you felt secure, you know, that your needs were going to be met? Did you grow up in a family that you did not feel like your needs were met? So how, that is basically, how is that coming back to you now? What is, you know, why, you know, is, again, this goes back to what we were talking about. Now, this, all of this, where I'm talking about the world and the Ten of Waters, and it's like, wow, I should be very happy where I'm at, and yet I want more. This could be because of, you know, this could be because of long-term, you know, when you were a baby type of situation. And if it is, you might need to talk about that. But it, it could be regenerating some of that. It could be, you know, this is that kind of, do you, how do you feel with your security now, okay? Many times over, um, again, like I'm saying, um, this, again, this is like old, old, you know, um, shouldn't say old because I don't know how old you are. But this is like when you were very, very young and security. So why is it coming up now, okay? Those are the things you need to kind of figure out and think about a little bit. So something might be triggering, you know, this feeling of, wow, things are going well. Why don't I feel like they are? You know, okay. The base of chakra, when I see that, I'm kind of like, ooh, hmm, okay. Last card here is, okay, now the solar plexer. So here we go. The solar plexer is a little bit more advanced on this, okay? This is all, basically, your heart and down is more of the physical world and the phys and and basically the um you know just how how things have affected you in your path the heart and yes i'm i'm repeating this but the heart and up is more about your spiritual connection okay and your solar plexus this is again this i mean these two now we don't have the what would it be the root you know we don't have that here so this is kind of that really really beginning and this is kind of more current, okay? This is kind of that more current. This is about relationships, again, more so on the intimate. So it just kind of supports what I'm saying is that even though there are things going really well in your life, you might be, you know, some things might be triggering you with some old reactions, okay? Okay. I hope that makes sense. Hi. Okay, let's go on. My Osha Zen Tarot. So a lot of the things. So so I guess the thing with the dis with if if there is something if you are discontented, and remember solitude. So this means kind of like you might have to um, step out of it for a little bit, um, out of the situation for a little bit. But if you are discontented, look and see. Look and see. It, what this relates to, like I said, in that earlier days of your life type of thing, I'm not, we're not going to be into counseling or anything that's more than, than just what we're talking about. But look to see what were the triggers. What is triggering you? You may have grown up with parents that no matter, I mean, you could have gotten A pluses, and yet it never was good enough. Okay, so you might be this overachiever. So, and so what might be happening is that maybe you've gotten what you've been after. And it, again, maybe you just want to achieve even more. Because I get the thing is that, you know, this thing about wanting more. Okay, almost, you know, the sad part about this is it's almost like not being satisfied. Okay, and I would think that I would want you to know that you can be satisfied. And what you've achieved is remarkable already, my Aries. Whoever needed that. Okay. So, two cards. My, I'm using my Osha Zen Tarot cards now for any words of advice. 
two cards kind of plopped out. The third one I cut and, you know, did all the good stuff with. Here we go. Laziness. Okay, so watch out for that. Watch. Okay, so with this, you know, again, my Aries, I feel that there's this hunger that you always want more. The thing is, you may not deal with what you're leaving behind, okay? Or what you're, I would say leaving behind. Okay, yours is a really a very complex reading to this time around. So you're going to have some, so be aware of these emotions that could be coming on you the end of this month. Here we go. Politics, politics, you know, it's like, you know, one face, be aware of this. So one, you know, your face is, you know, one person's face could be all, yes, everything's fine. And then behind the scenes, it's like getting the knife ready to stab you in the back. So be aware of that too. And the last card is understanding. This is a really interesting card because this kind, this goes along with this eight of air, the feeling, the illusion of feeling trapped. And so this, this is again, this is a, you know, this kind of reverts back to that first, those first cards. You know, this bird, this bird feels, you know, this bird has been behind these bars. Feels like, you know, I can't join these other birds. And yet, the bird can. There is an opening. So the, the feeling trapped, it is an illusion. You need to know that. Okay, my Aries, wow. Um, I'm not quite sure what we're going to name this one, but let's see. Okay, my Radley Valentine, okay, great. My Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. This one is reversed. It was face up, so let's go right into it. Six of Ariel. Ariel is solid earth energy. Capricorn will be entering into Capricorn season. It will also, it's also Taurus and Virgo, okay? This is material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness. And this one is what? Giving or receiving with a grateful heart. I think that that does sum up a lot of this. I think that in many ways, these, you know, like I said, you've got these, you know, you've got the world, you've got the ten of water. It's, you know, then you've got this feeling of being, you know, this illusion of being trapped. And I feel that that's kind of like, hey, the, everything's going. So, you know, maybe this is, there's a need for an attitude of gratitude. Maybe there's a need to know that you actually have done good, okay? But more of the, more of the practical side of the reading. So there's a lot of things going on for you um, on that emotional side. The practical side is the relationships are going to be really good for you. Your work relationship, your, you know, all the relationships are going to be really, really good for you. And you just, you know, you just need to, um, well, do you need to? I don't know. You know, I'm just going to recommend that for the end of this year, as we go into 2020, that you, um, instead of feeling, you know, having that um, feeling of being trapped, that you step back so that you can enjoy this time. That you step back and you just have, you know, you take on that attitude of gratitude. Okay? Okay. So my Aries, if you enjoyed my reading, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell. And my Aries, whether you celebrate this holiday season or not, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.